Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video on my channel, Hairlicious.ly. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe so that you guys are updated on hair loss and hair transplant topics, as well as updates on current hair loss treatments in the pipelines. Visit my website at hairlicious.ly.com to purchase your micro needling device, which is scientifically proven to stimulate hair growth, my low-level laser therapy cap, DHT blocking shampoo, conditioner, and serum, hair growth vitamins, and a few other products to help those who are losing hair. So for today's video topic, we are going to discuss about yet another incredible hair loss reversal trend transformation uh, regarding a guy who posted his three-month results on Tressless. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with Tressless, it's basically a sub page on Reddit and it pertains to hair loss. There's a lot of good information and resources on hair transplants and hair loss treatments. And so I highly recommend that you guys check it out if you haven't done so. So anyway, the guy goes by username overall underscore AD7710 and he basically shared with us his incredibly short yet amazing three month progress after being on finasteride, minoxidil, microneedling and scalp massages. So here's a before photo he shared with us before treatment. This was taken on October 16th when he started his day one of said treatment. And he also stated that the top of his head would only get a little bit longer than this and that he would always have bald spots everywhere. Now, looking at this photo, you know, we can clearly see that this guy is afflicted with androgenic alopecia with some pretty bad miniaturization, um, you know, on the hairline, on the mid scalp, and also in the crown area. In terms of his hair loss, I'd probably place him somewhere between like a Nord 4, maybe a Nord 4.5 diffuse pattern. And he doesn't really give us too much information on the post, but if you guys kind of read through and scroll down through some of the comments, he does let us know that he is currently 29 years of age and he started losing his hair at the age of 26. I'm not sure if you guys can tell from the photo, but he did also mention that he got scalp micropigmentation done on his hairline and that most of the frontal part of the scalp is actually SNP. And as far as his, you know, his uh, hair loss stripping regimen, He's been taking one milligram oral finasteride daily, micro needling on a weekly basis at 2.5 millimeter needle length, which personally just kind of seems a little bit too deep, um, at least for my taste. And then minoxidil twice a day, and he uses a scalp massager to massage the minoxidil into his scalp for about 10 minutes. He's also using Nysor shampoo uh, three to four times a week. Uh, I'm not sure why he didn't really include that in his post. Maybe he just felt that it wasn't really worth mentioning since most of his gains were possibly from the other treatments that he's been on. Now, fast forward to December 16th, which actually isn't even three months like the post indicates. It's actually only two months of said treatment. Uh, but regardless, we can actually see a pretty big visual improvement to the hair density, his hair thickness, and overall coverage on his scalp. It's hard to believe that after just two months prior to this, this guy was significantly thinning or diffuse thinning. If someone were to see this guy now, like walking out in the street, they probably wouldn't even suspect that this guy was afflicted with genetic hair loss. And to be honest, you know, it is hard to believe that in just a short span of two months, that's 60 days, this guy has literally reversed his hair loss through the use of the traditional and conventional big three treatment along with micro needling and his daily scalp massages. Now scrolling down through this comment section, Dr. Rasman, who is a hair transplant doctor that's pretty active on Tressless, he stated that the effect of the second photo could be the results of longer curly coarse hair alone. These results are too radical a change as normal terminal hairs usually grow at a rate of half half an inch per month. Maybe we are seeing a combination with some results from your treatment. I wouldn't suggest that you shave your hair, but from such a picture, the results of the treatment would be evident. So I agree and disagree to an extent with what Dr. Rasman has commented on. The average person does grow about half an inch of hair per month, but this is also for somebody who is not afflicted with genetic hair loss. Uh, we tend to see in balding individuals that they have a much slower hair growth on miniaturizing areas. And if you look at this guy's before photo, there are clear indications of balding all through his scalp and just highly miniaturized areas, diffuse areas on the frontal hairline, the mid scalp, and also the crown. And this would actually be impossible to give him that density that he now has had he not started treatment. It is true that given the characteristics of his curly and coarse hair, it would definitely put him at a higher advantage and give him the illusion of better coverage with longer and curly hair. But there is 
There is no mistake that he was an incredibly good responder to his combination treatment that basically enabled him to achieve incredible results in such a short period of time. And this is by far one of the quickest hair loss reversals that I've seen. And it also really reflects the efficacy, something as simple as the big three treatment in conjunction with micro needling and hair massages can really bring about. He was able to stabilize his hair loss with the use of a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, finasteride. Um, he threw in minoxidil to stimulate you know, a growth and apparently it was a pretty good responder to minoxidil uh, because variations between individuals in sulfur transferase activity is the cause of discrepancy in minoxidil efficacy. And with the use of micro needling, he was able to um, further his hair growth potential. There's tons of studies uh, backing up the use of minoxidil with microneedling. I've covered this numerous times on my channel, um, especially when they're used in conjunction with each other. Results in better density and higher hair count and just overall hair improvement. I'm not sure how much of an effect the hair massager had in stimulating hair growth because generally, um, the small number of studies that we do have on the effects of hair growth through scalp massages um, are typically a bit more rigorous than just using a scalp massager to kind of lather in the topicals. And usually these are done by a lot of pressure by hand. Um, it's done by stretching and pinching the scalp for 10 to 20 minutes. But at the very least, I do know that these scalp massagers that this guy uses, a very similar one that I use on a daily basis when I'm shampooing and lathering into my scalp, it works extremely well in exfoliating the sebum that's been built up in the scalp. And as a result, it will result in better absorption of any topicals that you use on the scalp. The other thing that is worth mentioning is that he never went through the initial dreaded minoxidil shedding phase that you know, a lot of people who are using minoxidil initially experience. The first couple months of minoxidil tend to be sometimes the most excruciating um, point for some people because it essentially makes your hair look worse before it gets better. But not everyone is going to go through the shedding phase. I didn't go through the shedding phase myself when I started using topical minoxidil. And as a result, you know, this guy was able to get some pretty good results in a short span of time. Had he experienced shedding, his two month progress definitely wouldn't look the way that, that it looks right now. And it would take him at least a few months to even upwards to a year to get back to his baseline and then some more to achieve the density that he now has. It would also help if he provided us with some you know, additional photos with his head shaped down to a similar level of what his before photo looked like so that we can make a better assessment in terms of his hair growth and density. But like I said, you know, it's a no brainer that there is no doubt that this guy was an extremely great responder. I'd probably classify him also in the hyper responder range to the conventional treatment that he's been on. My only recommendation for him um, and to anyone who is experiencing hair loss is to act a lot quicker, especially on the first onset of hair loss. This guy stated that he noticed balding when he was 26, and that means that that was basically three years that had passed by with him not doing anything to treat his hair loss. By the time he finally started you know, his uh, treatment, he had already lost a lot of ground and that could have been saved with FDA-approved hair loss medication. But luckily, despite his moderate hair loss progression, he was able to reverse it and get back the majority of his hair in a really short period of time. If you guys watched my previous video on the twin brothers on Dutasteride, one was taking Dutasteride on the first onset of hair loss and was able to go back to a Nord 1, while the other twin didn't take Dutasteride for several years despite suffering from hair loss on his mid scalp and on his crown progressed more likely into like a Nord 5. And although he did eventually start taking the test right, he was never able to return to baseline. So this just illustrates the importance of early intervention of treatment. And the sooner that you guys start, the easier that it is going to not only manage your hair loss, but also to get it back. But that's all I have uh, for this video guys. Hope this video was educational and helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, you can reach me via email or you can leave me some comments below. Thanks for all of your support. And just one last thing. So I did get a list of all the potential hair transplant candidates. I am going to do a drawing and I will announce the winner in a video in the near future. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Thanks for everything guys. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Take care.